Boys and girls, how is everybody? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Duper good, super duper, gooper. Uh, today is Emmy's birthday. She is now two digits, 10 years old. The oldest one in the family, not including the parents. <laughs> Happy birthday. Let's see here. What, where's Grant? No Grant tonight? Oh, he's here. He's shaving. Oh, okay. And uh, how about Diana and Mrs. Yachik? <laughs> no, no teachers in that row. Okay, you guys in first, second, third grade, you have to be on your very bestest behavior. You don't have any adult with you. How about that? She's here? Okay. All right, tonight, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pray, and then we'll do the verses and the songs, some of the songs, but we'll have you do them right up here, okay? So we'll get the big old people to come up first. I mean, the older children, okay? And... Um, did you, we'll show you back there, we'll have the words on a monitor, a screen back there, so that can help you, okay, if you need it. Okay, let's pray together. Father, we thank you today for this fifth evening of Vacation Bible School with all the boys and all the girls and all the adults who have worked and helped and for the wonderful days you've given us. We ask for your blessing. Help us to prepare well for even tomorrow night. I pray that a lot of family can come and just have a good time, and see what the kids have been learning, and enjoy some pizza, time in the Bible, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. The third row, come to the front, please. Uh, Sammy, you can, you can come up first. Sammy, come here. Come here. Uh, you can stand on deck, Sammy. Anywhere, make a big line up there, and then... Uh, Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yeah, just spread out right up there. Step back. Step back. Uh, we'll put another row of kiddos up here, okay? Something like that. Yeah. Just make the floor door. Yeah, come on, uh, Mercedes. Come ahead. Just, just stand around out there. There you go. There you go, Josiah. All right. Now, Mrs. Uh, Essebrook is going to tell you what to do. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll get everybody. Don't, like, 
ready? Right there. Here's today's verse. You haven't done that one in here yet. You just did it for yeah, okay. um, your teaching day. Ready? Go. Psalm 23, 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We'll practice that again in a little bit. Okay. <coughs>
all sang so nice. You stood up there really in nice rows. You stood still for a long time. We could hear you singing. It was very nice. It sounded great, really good. And that's a way that you can be giving out God's word to the children and to the, well, not to the children so much. Tomorrow it'll be more to the parents, okay? So hope you can all come tomorrow night and do that singing just like that. And you know what? You can pray about it and you can say, Dear Lord, I love you. Remember last night at the end of our story, Hudson Taylor said, Had I 1,000 lives, China should have everyone. No, not China, but Christ should have everyone. Can we do too much for him? Can we do enough for such a savior? Remember, and I, we hope that you boys and girls have Jesus as your Savior. And if you do, remember, the Lord Jesus said, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. You can give your testimony to others. And I have loved, Mrs. Rose and I this year, this week, we've loved hearing you say your Bible verses and putting God's word in your heart. So tonight we're going to 
finish up about Hudson Taylor, there was a story that I forgot to tell you last night. I ran out of time. Uh, but I, am, I don't even know if I'll say it tonight. Because tomorrow night I'm going to do 10 minutes of this story for people here. And maybe I'll tack it in there tomorrow. Today I want to finish up on Hudson Taylor's life. This is the world up there. Right here is China. This is where Hudson Taylor went to be a missionary. China is such a huge country. If you look at that map up there, you see above China is a place called Mongolia. That is also part of what Hudson Taylor was praying for God to send missionaries to that part of China. And remember last night when we left our, st our story, poor Hudson Taylor was only 28 years old, but he was sick, and he was on his way home to England, not because he wanted to go to England, but because he was sick, and the doctor said, you must get a rest. That's okay. That's a good question. There is some black stuff on the side, but you just look at the picture in the middle. That's right. That's the way it'll be tomorrow night, too. Good question. But do you see Hudson Taylor? You see the man in the bed? That's Hudson Taylor. He's sick. Yeah. His head's on a pillow because he is sick. And do you know he was on his way back to England, and he was praying. He was very sick. But he was praying, dear Lord, please bless the people of China. Please help and send more missionaries to China. And uh, that's what he prayed about. Look at this picture. As he had strength to do so, he kept praying, dear Lord, please send more missionaries to China. I can't even be there now. I am sick. But you know, the Bible tells us to pray for the Lord to send workers or laborers into his harvest. And that's what Hudson Taylor prayed, please send missionaries into China. And do you know, as Hudson Taylor was back in England, he had a map of China on his wall. And he kept praying and praying because China was such a huge country, really big. It had 11 provinces and then Mongolia as well. And he Hudson Taylor knew in, in the country of China, some of those towns and villages were way up in the mountains. Some of them were hard to get to. How could people hear about Jesus? And so he prayed, dear Lord, would you please send five more missionaries to China? And do you know what? Just like China, uh, God had helped Hudson Taylor learn to pray about money and about food, and about his needs. Do you know God answered his prayer and five more missionaries went to China? Isn't that wonderful? But he thought five missionaries in that whole country, that's not very many. So he kept praying. As he prayed, the Lord put an idea on his heart. Why don't you pray for more missionaries? So do you know how many this time Hudson Taylor prayed for? He prayed for 70. And that is a lot. And guess what? God answered that prayer. It took some time, but God sent, well, first of all, before 70, he prayed for 24. He prayed for two missionaries for each of the 11 provinces in China, and then two for the country of Man Mongolia. And God answered that prayer, 24 missionaries. 11 times 2 is 22, right? Plus 2, 24. So God answered that prayer. And then Hudson Taylor thought, well, 24 missionaries for all of those people? It was so many people. 380 million Chinese people had never heard about Jesus. And so he was like, that's not enough missionaries. So God put it on his heart. Pray for 100, or for 70. And God provided 78 
That was, he prayed for that in three years. And then he said, let's pray for 100. And God answered prayer even more than 100. And then he prayed, let's, an let's ask God for 1,000 in five years. And Hudson Taylor had to travel over America, Europe, and Australia, kept asking people, won't you consider going to China and uh, telling people about the Lord? Yes. Okay. Now, let me show you this picture. God put it on his heart. Why don't you start a mission board to help people learn about Jesus and to send the missionaries out and take care of them? And Hudson thought, I can't do that. How will I be able to do, take care of all those missionaries? But he prayed about it and prayed about it. And do you know what? He finally thought, dear Lord, you have helped me all these years with everything else. I'm going to do your will. It was a struggle. You know, sometimes the things that God wants us to do, we know it's something we need to do, but it's like, I don't think I can do it. And that's the way in this picture, Hudson Taylor was walking by the seashore, and he thought, I don't know if I can do that. But then he thought, what about all the people in China that have never heard about Christ? I must tell them about Christ. And God can help me. He's helped me all these years. You know, boys and girls, sometimes when we remember how God has helped us before, it can give us courage to think, dear God, you helped me before, you will help me again. And that is what Hudson Taylor did. I'll show you this picture. Hudson Taylor said this, God's work done in God's way will never lack God's supply. But I'll show you two more pictures and then we'll be done. This was a true story. Hudson had a man named Peter that wanted to know about Jesus. And Hudson was telling him about the Lord Jesus. And he encouraged him how Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is God. He left heaven. He came and died on the cross. And if Peter would believe on Jesus, he could have his sins washed away. And Peter said, I will come tonight to your service, and I will listen to your preaching. As they were traveling on the boat, Hudson was in a different part of the boat, and he heard a splash. And he went up. What is this? Peter had fallen into the water. Hudson quickly jumped into the water to try to get Peter, but he could not find him. He's like, oh, no. He saw some fishermen far away. He said, come, help. Help Peter, please. Help. Somebody's fallen into the water. But they just kept going on with their fishing. And they said, please, please help. A man is in the water. I can't find him. Use your net and break your net across the water. You might find him. We're too busy, they said. Please, I have some money. I'll give you some. How much money do you have? I have five. I'll say five dollars. I have five dollars. That's not enough. I'll give you everything I have. What do you have? Fourteen dollars, I think. They finally came, and they finally found Peter. But guess what? When they found Peter and put him on the deck, it was too late. They couldn't even make him be able to breathe anymore. And so Peter died, the man on the ground. The green guy was one of the helpers, but they couldn't get him to live. And so Peter died. And Hudson Taylor would sometimes... Right, you can't, we can't breathe in water like that. And Hudson said, you know, this is the way it is. We must reach these people before it's too late. And that's a question for us. Where, do you want to be a missionary and serve the Lord? Or are you like, I'm too busy with other stuff. Or it, I won't get enough money if I'm a missionary. 
That's not the way we want to live as a Christian, right? Just like Hudson Taylor said, Jesus did everything for us, and we want to do everything for him. So please pray about that, boys and girls. Use your lives to help other people come to know Jesus, okay? That's the end of our Hudson Taylor story. And now it is game time, but Mr. Philip is sick. But Mr. Joshua is going to lead you in game time today, okay? I'm 